My name is Armand Baltazar. I've been a film designer for most of my career, but now I'm an author and illustrator of the illustrated adventure series called Timeless. Three hundred years from now, our world comes to an end. The earth vanishes, it disappears. Then exactly two minutes later, it comes back. But what comes back isn't our world anymore. What we find out happens is that a tear in the fabric of time itself shatters the past, the present, and the future, and simultaneously fuses it all back together. We meet a young boy named Diego on his 13th birthday, and when his city is attacked by raiders from across the sea, and his father is kidnapped by a second century Roman general and a scientist from the 23rd century, Diego goes on an adventure to save him. He recruits his best friend Petey, a boy from the Roaring Twenties, Paige, a girl from 1984, and Lucy, a Victorian girl. They join mercenary pirates, travel across the ocean, and uncover the secret of what changed the world all those years before, and possibly the way to change it all back. I've always loved telling stories, and when I was a boy, I used to like to write stories, I used to like to make comics, I used to like to make pictures and illustrations that, that told stories, which sort of led me to uh, my career at Pixar. I would take breaks working on films, or when I wasn't working on films, I would come home from the studio and I would chip away at this little small story that I was writing and illustrating uh, for Dylan, and it started to evolve. So my son asked me to make it something grander, a bigger adventure. I remember walking into my dad's office and saying, Dad, what if we made a story with sharks, airplanes, dinosaurs, and robots? I said to him, I said, that's impossible. And he looked at me and he smiled and he said, what's the matter, can't do it? And I was like, oh, no you didn't. And he thought, that's a crazy idea. And it seemed as though he kept thinking about it and going, what if? And so the challenge was thrown down and I started realizing that my son was looking at the different things in history and in cultures from around the world and from different points in time. And he loved those things. And I thought, well, rather than trying to find a way to go through time to those things, what if I could bring it all together simultaneously, all at once? And that's how the idea of fracturing time and making all those pieces fit back together like some new jigsaw puzzle um, come about. Are you proud of your dad? Yes, very. <laughs> I think the whole family is very proud of dad. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Thank you.